Let's get ready for Monday Mortgage Minute with your hosts, Tom McNamara and Bruce Woodburn. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. How are you? Man, I am fantastic. A little stuffed from all that Thanksgiving turkey, but... Uh, I'm a little I'll, swollen myself, I think. I'll tell you, man, I don't know it was if a great weekend. Or the, uh, or the alcohol, I'm not quite sure. It could be a combination of the two. Could be a combination. Plus a bunch of great football this weekend. So really good football. Yeah. Really good yeah. football. Hey, listen, man, we're 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 got a, a month left in the year, right? Um, and I know this is the time of year where a lot of people take their uh take their, their foot off the pedal, you know, both both realtors and lenders, as well as, you know, buyers and sellers, right? Just kind of like, oh, I'll wait until after the holidays. But um, you know, this is a really good time to uh to hit the market. So I wanted to remind everybody that both Cross Country Mortgage, Bruce Woodburn, and EXP are nationwide companies, man. We can help you anywhere you all are. We have states. all over the, the, the United States. Yep, all 50 states. We're doing loans all over the country. Right now, Cross Country is number one retail lender in the country. One in 44 loans that are closing right now are a Cross Country loan. Wow, Don't that's out on that opportunity. That's yeah. that's really good, man. Speaking yeah. of speaking of mortgages and, and and mortgage rates, I know that's a that's a big topic. So, are rates going up? What's going on? Well, you know, nobody really knows that 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 question, but I can tell you this. I got some positive news that, you know, I think we're at the end of inflation. At least the indicators are telling us that, which inflation erodes the bond market, which causes interest rates to go up. And I think we've hit the tail end and we're going to start a nice slow recovery. Now, do I think we're going to see a significant drop in rates anytime soon? Probably not anytime soon. Yeah. We're thinking more around the election. We might taper off mid-year next year. But right now, we want to encourage people to get into the market because if you wait for rates to drop, you're waiting for prices to go up. 100%. That's the, that is ex That will happen. If you don't think that's going to happen. But the dilemma behind that, Tom, is that when rates go up, go down, Mm -hmm. All the people that are sitting on the sidelines right now jump in. What do you think happens to the lack of inventory yeah. that we have right now? Yeah, I mean, I've got, I'd say probably 70, 75% of my buyers that I'm working with are, quote, waiting for rates to drop. And, you know, that that's going to flood the market. I, you know, I, I just know it is, right? Big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. Don't do it. You're going to get caught. We're going to we're going to do a refi. Just buy now and refi later. Secure that price. Rates yep. will drop around the election. Hopefully we'll see the fives again. You buy a 450 house at seven and a half percent. Rates drop to five and a quarter. It'll save you five, six hundred bucks a month. There That's the way you do it. That's the smart way to do it. Hey, you know, um, yeah, that's, I, I 100% agree. Now, I know we talked about this not long ago, Hometown Heroes, right? So it was a really popular program, ran out of money, and um, and then they they shoved a little bit of money back in there. It's funny, we talk, we call $38 million a little bit, right? But, you know, they shoved $38 million back in it. Do we still have some? A little bit, not very much. It's probably enough for about another week and a half to two weeks. That's okay. it. That's all you got. If you if you know somebody that wants to buy a home and they don't take advantage of this pro this program, they are making a major, major, major mistake. It hey, is know, the best down payment assistance program that I've ever seen. I, absolutely, man. I mean, all the other ones had such strict um, income guidelines and uh, restrictions and complexity. And man, all the hometown heroes loans that I've closed have been smooth sailing. Absolutely. No, no hiccups. We, we close them in 30 days. Yeah. So yeah. unlike your municipal programs that are available through the county and city, uh, they take a little bit longer. They require more inspections. Uh, your income limits are about half of what Hometown Heroes will allow. So it's a big difference. And Hometown Heroes has a little bit of a, a, a rate advantage and a closing cost advantage. Yep, they right? do. They limit the closing costs. And they limit the interest rates. Yeah. So there's a lot of advantages, Tom. Man, that's them. fantastic. Now, and if you're well, a veteran, you don't have to be a first-time home buyer. That's right. That's right. And we have a lot of veterans that we that we serve. So, um, 
you know, I, I was thinking about that, you know, what, if, what if, uh, what if you're doing well, right. And you really want to like give your kids a, a great gift, right. Well, it's interesting you say that because we what happens at Christmas time is we're scrambling around to figure out what we want to buy somebody and we end up buying something for somebody because you didn't know what else to get them. Sure. Right? sure. Or you got them some socks or underwear or something <laughs> or a George Foreman grill that they really didn't need, right? Yeah, yeah. But why don't we give them a gift of a down payment? Look at here's what you're doing. You're changing somebody's life forever. There's not much more other unless you want to give them a kidney that this is one of the best things you can do. So give them a gift of a down payment. Help them out a little bit. Let me combine that with hometown heroes or a local DPA program. Sure. But stop giving things to people that don't have any value by this time next year. And half the time you're giving your your family stuff that they're going to re-gift somewhere else anyway, or it's a bottle of Bailey's that's gone by the end of the week. Hey, you know, but there's, there's some limits on that, right? We can only gift. I I want to say it's $14,000 a year. Look it, it all depends on how the gift is made, but Mm -hmm. don't be concerned about your tax consequences as much as you should be when it comes to, Uh, helping a family member out with a gift that's going to keep on giving. I just had a a client that inherited a property worth 400 plus thousand dollars that there was three relatives involved. Two of them wanted their third of their money. Mm -hmm. The one that didn't wanted to gift it to his son. He was able to gift $160,000 and no tax consequence. That's awesome. That's awesome. So come talk to me. I can tell you whether you're you're subject to some taxes or not. Now I'm not a CPA, so I'm not going to give yeah, any yeah. definite quotes. But there's my disclaimer. Just I got do you. it. Do it anyway. Have a conversation and then go check with your pro. Right. 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 So um, hey, so we have a few minutes left, and you know I want to remind everybody that we have a YouTube channel. I I have a YouTube channel. You do as well. I got to get yours up here for uh, for next time. Yeah, but- Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Arranger. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channel or right here. And you've got the McNamara experience as well. That's Great right. place. Make sure you subscribe to that. So we I wanted to chat with you real quick about something I didn't have uh, prepared in the in, in the captions here. But I wanted to talk to you about multifamily because there was a small change that's actually pretty impactful. It's not a big part of our business, but what a great hack. What's what's going on there? So now Fannie Mae is allowing individuals to purchase up to a four unit complex with as little as 5% down if you're willing to occupy one of the units. So treating it much like an owner occupied piece of property, kind of like FHA does as well, but it gives you an opportunity to create uh, a income stream for yourself. Now you can't qualify with the income stream, but you can defray some of the cost of the unit by qualifying for a multifamily home and only putting 5% down. Gotcha. Yeah. I've actually sold two of them this year to uh, that from investors, right. That were using them as investment property to homeowners that we're going to essentially house hack. That's right. That's right. Well, listen, what we should all be doing is looking for opportunities that we can set up our retirement because I can assure you, yep. you will not live off of your social security. And unless you have a military pension or some pension that most of us don't have anymore, yep. it's going to be it's going to be a rough road when you retire if you don't have some other type of alternative income. And rental properties are the easiest way to do it. I mean, everybody needs a property to live in. What a great opportunity. It's like having a 401k and somebody else is making the deposits for you. That's right. That's right. Matter of fact, uh, two of my rental properties are actually in my 401k. You can do that as well. (laughs) Absolutely. Mine are in my IRAs. So absolutely, you can do that. And if you're looking to invest, if you would like to use or understand how to do that, Give us a call. We'll walk you through the process. Both Tom and I have done this multiple times before. I've even lent out hard money out of my IRAs for people that just don't qualify right now. 
Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Bruce, as always, it's been a pleasure. I, I, I enjoyed your hat. Check out the uh, Thank Santa you. Cowboy hat. That's my Santa Cowboy hat. Hey, <laughs> I happen to have a rental property in Daytona that I'm looking for a good uh, medium term renter, four to six months a uh, okay. year if you want it. But I've got one available. Uh, I do have it booked in February for race season. But if other than that, I'm looking for a good tenant that wants a fully furnished house. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. I'll spread the word. Thanks, man. Have a good right, week. Man. You have a great week.